Oh, the things that I've been through lately, the things that I've witnessed the past few days and even right now, but today, we're not here to complain about a missing life. Today, we're here to talk about one thing. I'm gonna be putting up an article that has sparked something in me and I'm gonna play the standard YouTube commentator, okay? It's time for one of those rare moments where I need to preface something for the audience. A brief glimpse into the bigger picture of my topic, which you can see is Mario. If you're not aware of life and culture, the, the Super Mario Bros movie debuted at about 48% on Rotten Tomatoes from the critics and worked its way up to about 58%. The dweebs of film don't appreciate this movie too much. That's it. That's the preface. I wanted you to know about the hate. I'd like to present to you all, brought to you by AVClub.com, if the Mario movie makes a million dollars, we might really be screwed. Oh my god, we're really screwed! Alright, alright, settle down everybody. We've got some business to discuss. I don't know about you, but I'm not a hater like that. It's not in me to be disgusted like that. William Hughes from avclub.com, however, is not having it. Do you have any idea how many terrible video game movies are going to happen if Mario's unexpected blockbuster run continues? Was it really unexpected? I mean, all eyes were on this movie from the announcement to probably the cast announcement. And everyone, you know, everyone was outraged about Chris Pratt. People were glued and anticipating. And how dare you? <laughs> and how dare you? <laughs> I've got this on my laptop on one leg, so I can only wield one hand for reactions. How dare you downplay Mario? Even grandparents know who this character is, and he's been cherished for ages. Also, it's an animated movie, and people eat that up. Moving on! We're only like hours into the weekend at this point, but it's already becoming clear that we might have a problem on our hands with this Mario guy. This guy might be just as dramatic as me. See, the Super Mario Bros. movie isn't just doing well in its second week at the box office. It's doing improbably, unexpectedly. There goes that unexpected word again, man. Super well. With a projected drop off of 45% in its second weekend in which Endgame had a 58.7% drop. I'd like to make a comment that everybody saw Endgame in that first weekend and and it pretty much made a billion dollars in the first weekend. I feel like Super Mario Bros. can stand a beating within its first month of release and it's possible that families are taking their time to go see it. It's not a f blah blah blah. The Mario movie is expected to have made something like $659 million planet-wide by Monday. I'll cut William Hughes some slack. This has to be an opinion piece because this man just used something like when giving a financial estimate where he's trying to prove doomsday. And can we mention planet-wide here? Do you know how wide we're talking? <laughs> Oh, Mario, just take all our money. We'll be in a world where the Super Mario Bros. movie makes more than a billion dollars and thus ushers in a cinematic hell on Earth, the likes of which humanity has only rarely had to contemplate. I'm loving this. We're all gonna be dead pretty soon and it's all thanks to this movie. Who would have thought we'd have this much trouble? We admit that this is informed by a certain pessimism. <laughs> I applaud the self-awareness. The identification of negativity in thy own's behavior is just that every video game movie fails. If this damn thing breaks a billion dollars, the deluge... What the hell is deluge? A severe flood. Of gaming flag, the bullshit that's going to start spewing out of Hollywood is going to be truly unimaginable. Two things, one being the good old Hollywood punching bag. The word Hollywood has become a blanket term for something that isn't indie. Movie about a dinosaur racing cars? Yeah, Hollywood. Movie about a rabbit that becomes obese and wants to lose some goddamn weight? Goodness gracious, Hollywood is just spewing out bullshit. A film about the hardship a mother faces after her husband passes away, leaving her alone with her only son. Oh my god, this is so good! And two, Hollywood has been making adaptations, as you pointed out. Yes, a lot of them have failed and people already want a cinematic Nintendo universe where it leads up to Smash Bros. So, I get your point. But, good video adapt- <coughs> Video game adaptations are nothing new as we already have Sonic and as you mentioned right here, TV's already primed to pump with The Last of Us show. With The Last of Us show, you're missing a the there. That's like saying with Supernatural show. With Barry show. My point is we're already doomed as you say, William. Mario breaks a billion. Next thing you know, they're gonna give Crash Bandicoot a movie. Do you want that, people? 
Do you? <laughs> Do you want to hear Timothy Chalamet's Craft Manicure voice? Whoa! <laughs> because that's the reality we're now careening towards. Spyro the Dragon, Banjo Kazooie, fucking Bubsy. What is Bubsy? We're opening Pandora's box here, and Arrow the Acrobat is looking at the bottom. <laughs> Turn back before all is lost. All right, let's let's give you a rest. Well, I think I might have found somebody that's a bit more dramatic than I am. So I'd like to take this moment right here, right now, to apologize to anyone I've ever spoken to in an exaggerated manner for perhaps being a bit too much to handle. I myself lost a few minutes of youth partaking in this exercise. Points of views like these are my anti-fairy, so I had to have some fun with it. I've, <laughs> I, I've never made a video like this before and I really, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. And you know, if you enjoyed it as much as I did, then consider supporting my channel by subscribing. Because, <laughs> Most of you watching aren't even subscribed. I'm starting to get views in the hundreds and nobody's hitting that damn subscribe button. And as always, boys and girls, remember to love what you like. If you stuck around this long, I'll let you in on a little secret. I have not seen the Super Mario Bros. movie yet.